my legion capacity is pretty much caught up to my legion size. Wise teacher, nice. Silver tongued, good. A child should come out well. We're gonna disband. Hey, a little bit of stuff. That's not too bad. We're gonna disband some of these heavy infantry because I'm gonna start varying this shit up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, just six. Six unless I get rid of one more heavy infantry. We gotta get rid of one more heavy infantry here. And a civil war in Moria ended. No big deal for me. I'm trying to get rid of only the ones that are not loyal, because then it doesn't cost too much to disband them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elephants. I can't boost up elephants with my traditions, but elephants by themselves are just fucking amazing. So I figure, fuck it, let's get some elephants. And they work really, really well with the phalanx. So put the elephants on the front, heavy infantry in the back. The elephants can crush through just about fucking anything. They handle the cavalry that these guys can't better. Anything these guys can handle, they handle better. Way better in some cases. They're good against archers, which the heavy infantry kind of aren't. It's just a great buff. These are great heavy frontline units. They have heavy infantry to back them up. Again, can we upgrade elephants? No, but they're just kind of amazing in their own right. Instead of basing it off of specifically what we can upgrade, I'm doing it based on a mixture of what can we upgrade and also what works with the phalanx. And this is these are the best three types of units that go with a phalanx. Heavy infantry, war elephants, and light cavalry. So I will not be changing this up anytime soon because this is the best we're going to do with our phalanx. We actually do better with shock action, but no, we're sticking phalanx the whole way through whole way through all right they're being asked for military access from a ton of countries they won't leave me alone am i able to buy honey from you uh it depends where it's located here i'll send the thing over and you can look at it okay never mind it did automatically yeah i have it set to auto accept if it's good if it doesn't auto accept that means it's not good if it's not at my capital the answer should always be yes too so Rome is getting dangerously close. They won their first war against Carthage. Yeah, that's um, that's kind of terrifying. They're also starting to go around me to all that stuff to the north of me in your direction. Yep. So, uh, hmm. Yeah. We might have to do something about that sometime soon. They're going to fuck around and find out. I checked, like, the math. If all of us worked together, literally all of us, then we would have pretty much equal numbers just out of the gate against Rome as they stand right now. I mean, I'm down if everybody else is down. And right now they border me. A big war against them could be done. Uh, Narfi is trying to, like, build up, though, so he's, I don't know what he could really do. You two are way larger than Narfi. The issue is, um, Rift doesn't have range with you. Really, least last I time have range there. with him. And I have enough diplomatic slots to ally everybody. Gotcha. So yeah, it's up to, like, you've been talking to him more, so I don't know if you just want to talk. I see he's at war with Atropatine now, though. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Okay. If he does take it, he'll be even more useful for this goal. We can just talk about that out loud, though. Yeah. Oh, and just to recap, um, between what me and you talked about a while ago, so you said everything above the oh voice crack. Uh, um, let's see what. So everything above the river Easter, you don't. Everything outside of the region of Thrace. So the entire region okay. of Saramatia, Europia, Moesia, Dacia. I, I'm not planning on going into any of those, but Rome is. So. Got you. Okay. So you got your war there against Atropatine, Colchis? Yep, and I have to siege down this uh, fortress all over again for some reason. Yeah, I was sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for the Seleucids to finally attack them. They did, and I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Um, okay, so... We've noticed Rome is currently just attacking the weakest guys they have. And they're working their way, literally, directly towards the Basparan Kingdom. So, me and Travis have talked about unifying everybody to fight Rome. What do the others think about that? It doesn't have to be right now, of course, but just in general. 
absolute agreement. Yeah. You, of course, have to finish your war against Atropatine. Sparta is doing his own thing right now, but I'm not starting any more wars of my own anytime soon. I have, I'm have i allies with, with Cappadocia and Phrygia, and I could probably bring both of them. So that includes Thrace into our war as well, meaning the numbers would really be on our side. We just have to... That would be a really tactical war. We'd really have to work together and just be really on top of that. We'd be fighting basically entirely over Illyria, which is not going to, like, set Rome back entirely. Even if we do take it. I don't have any claims on them, but I do have a Casus Belli just based off show superiority. So what could happen instead is... What we could have happen is we could get them to just release a bunch of stuff that they've taken over in the past. That sounds good. Yeah, so, not bad. Like, this, so I, I, I don't... But we got to release, let Rome release stuff. We, yeah, that's an option. Rather than just taking stuff, because it would just all go to me anyway. Given where we are. And then we'd have to, like, split it or something. But we've already kind of talked about that. And Colchis doesn't want anything over there. I don't know if uh, Travis does. But we could just have them release a lot of stuff. It really depends how the war goes. And, you know, we need a win as well. I would prefer the water. Yeah. Uh, just having them release a bunch of shit? Yeah. Okay. Just as a note, though, this will require everything our economies can handle. I'll cover the Navy. I can 1v1 their Navy. You can send your navies. It would be helpful. They have 52 ships. I'm prepared. I have 80 fucking six. I prepared for this moment. Um, but in terms of land, everything our economies can handle, including mercenaries, are going to be needed. With with my legions, I probably cannot afford mercenaries. I'm kind of oh, you got right legion. Yeah. Well, that's good because you have your whole fucking area, so it's fine. A legion is still good. I would prefer to wait um, when it comes to that war until my leader dies, because if my leader dies in the middle of that, it ain't gonna be good. Oh, uh, we'll see. He's healthy. Uh, he may have gout, but he's healthy. Either way, still seventy-five. I'm the front line. And that's like the most important thing. Like I am the front line. I, what honestly might be, because I figure that even like, if any of you can get mercenaries combined with any levies or legions, it's going to require everything. By the way, um, I, I think the three of you maybe should just work together as one logistical front, and then I can use my legion and mercenaries as a separate logistical front to uncomplicate the logistics okay i need to ask travis something real quick yep sierra okay. has become a city it needs to be the capital when, though when do you want to do this well we're waiting to hear from them because just said all right oh they said all right oh uh he was whispering with me but yeah oh But yeah, I'm definitely not ready right this current second. Let's move our capital here because we need to do that yeah, for some reason. My also about to die, so. To Sira. I had my I had two leaders die in a war earlier, so it doesn't actually seem like it's too bad of a thing. So Sira's now a city. It's become the cap. It's not going to stay the capital. This is not as good of a capital, quite right, frankly. We have a claim. Oh, we forged that claim I was going for. That's good. Um, the capital needs to be this. Ideally, we could prospect. That's money. Sure, let's prospect. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This capital back. All right, we have one, two, three, four cities here now. That's a little excessive if you ask me, but that's what the mission wanted. That's done. We need to invest three trade routes here, but we also need to do this. We need to make a city still out of this, which I haven't done, but I could do. Let's go ahead and get that going to progress the mission. Little of value found in our pro- Wow, coaches, coaches annexed all of that. Oh yeah, dude, that giant nation, that's gonna be some great money for you over there, coaches. Nice and beefy. Yes, and now we need to turn this on Rome because they're really about to be out of hand. The Seleucids are at least kept in check by neighbors, but Rome is kept in check by literally fucking nobody. They've already beaten Carthage in a war and they'll do it again. And thankfully, when we do fight them, we'll be fighting over territories that they don't have fortifications in. For the most part. At least not a lot. 
So it should be easy to just grab a bunch of shit and harass them kind of guerrilla style, especially if they make a doom stack. Engineers are for sieges, right? Sieges, river crossings, that kind of stuff. Gotcha. For sieges, just having one helps. Having another helps. For river crossings, you want one per 10 total units, including itself. So if you have 39 units, not only do you need three, but you're about to have 40 when you recruit the next one. Like, so you're going to need four. Four for 40, basically. One for every exact 10. Four river gotcha. crossing benefits. Stability for influence. Sure. Why not? My stability is stupid high already anyway. Right, let's see. Will you just give me this shit if I threaten you? You won't. I'm going to have to fight you for that then. And while everyone else is just kind of waiting to get ready. I might as well grab Byzantine. If I can grab both sides of Byzantine from these bitches, I mean, that would be great. I only care about this side, but I'll grab both if need be. I got bigger again. What? Rome. Oh yeah, they just finished their war, I guess. And now they have a new war already. Where is it? Now they're going more into Gaul. Oh God, guys, they're gonna have all their, their armies over in Gaul. They're literally going to move all their armies to Gaul, far away from Illyria, guys. Yeah, so let's wait a little bit and then do it. It would take long enough to get the Boss Barns and Colchis dudes over here. That's the ETA to actually, like, get this going. Oh, warm period. That's nice. Pop growth. I mean, I really do not have the money to do it. You don't have the money to even sustain what you already own? What I already own at low, um, low wages. What if you turn off your navy? Because you're not going to need your navy for this. Uh, yeah, both the army and fleet are at low Damn, what the fuck and... happened to your money? Like, <laughs> Well, I don't went... need... Why do you have your wages on low? Because of... He, because he means the maintenance. Need my navy right now. He doesn't mean wages, wages. He means maintenance. That's what he means. And so you can't even afford to have your military going. What if you, like, got rid of a couple of cohorts? Um, I would prefer not to after just spending money on it. Uh, I know I'll how long just... it takes up to build a legion. This will take you, because I just did it earlier. This will take you years, and the war Rome has in Gaul will be done, and we'll have a much less opportune chance to invade, unfortunately. Um, what does culture honest, look like? It's going to cost all money, because I'm losing money here, too. Yeah, like, and I'm about, I'm gonna put myself into the negative as well to pull this off. But how how is Colchis looking? Colchis financially, are you able to do um, this? Yeah, I'm right now. I'm making about twenty gold per turn. Okay, and what or is month. what what is your main army consist of? I'm still just using shit levies. Ah, levies are still good. How big are your levies? I have twenty nine, so fourteen thousand five hundred. I can carpet siege. Yeah, that's 14,500 is great. It's it's much better to have 14,500 in levies than nothing in legions. <laughs> that is yeah, plus, insanely helpful. Plus, if I need to, while I'm over there, I can grab like two big stacks of mercenaries over there. Yeah, if you still have all that money, that is more than enough to afford pretty massive stacks of mercenaries. Although that probably will be required. I'm going to be spending all my free income on getting mercenaries when we do this. Yeah, I've just been sitting here stockpiling gold because I knew I was going to invade them sooner or later. I had like 1,200 gold saved up. So I can afford um, my army at uh, medium maintenance. How much is it? Like, how um, big is it? My army maintenance is 5.29. How big is the army? Uh, my six, uh, legion, or well, my six-man legion, and then I have another, uh, levy out right now to kill barbarians. And that's 2k. Okay, so you have six cohorts of a legion, and then you have 2k levies out. And is that 100% of what you can summon? Uh, well, I also have, um, okay, well, he's too disloyal to even give levy, but I can pop out three more levy pops or whatever you want to call them okay Three more levies that would be useful um and sparta what do you have uh, around 15k in total 
15k men. Levy a mercenary. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have a mercenary out right now? No. But you can have mercenaries, what you're saying. Yeah, I, I will lose 5 gold every month, but I will, can keep it up for a few months. I can help you with that. Okay, um... Oh, well, okay, that's better than nothing. Uh, so let's see, between, so you have, you have maybe 15k in Sparta, Las Sparans would have, like, probably not a lot, maybe, like, what would you say your max would be, Travis? Um, 10k. 10k, okay. Yeah, that's the worst timing for a legion, and we have, like, 15k or whatever from cultures plus mercenaries, which with 20 income means he could be paying for something like 20,000 in mercenaries. So... What do you have? Me? What do I have about 17k in legions? And I have a fuck ton of money. So I can help you afford your mercenaries, and I can afford mercenaries of my own, and I'm gonna be using my navy, initially, to hunt down the entire Roman navy and kill them. Once that's done, I could probably put them in decreased pay, which would then allow me maybe another merc stack. But I'm gonna go into the red from the very beginning intentionally, because I have a, a decent, uh, not as good as when I last told you what it was, Narfi, but a, a decent stockpile. I'm like half of what I had before. Mm -hmm. okay. So with mercenaries in mercenaries in my area, <laughs> hmm. Where is there like a really beefy stack somewhere? There is a seventeen thousand stack up by on the Crimean Peninsula. I got a sixteen k stack near me. Uh, where's this eighteen k stack also near me? Premium of 14,000 or 14k. Yeah, okay. This is another one that's near me 18k 19k where's that on Crete? There's a 19 and a half K on Crete. I'm assuming that's not the one you wanted Narfi. No, 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 I take the one with uh, an Athens In Athens Yeah, okay, so I could pick up this 19k uh, yeah, yeah, I could get this 19k at the very start. 19k merc stack. Oh, wait, there's a tw is this 20k? It's in Sicily. I could definitely pick up that 20k. <laughs> Do we have any bigger chicken dinner? 24k in Carthage. Whoo, okay, that would put me in the red, but I could do it. 27k in Egypt. I could do it. It'd put me real in the red, but I could do it. I could do it for the purpose of getting Rome weakened, you know? So that's what I can bring to the table. 17k in mercs and like immediately 27k in uh in or, or 17k in legions, 27k in mercs. So I think between like you three and me, we have a pretty even split. So I think those two you think Rome has around 50k? Yeah. But Rome is also just taking shit over left and right right now. Um, they have, yeah, yeah, they, they only have 14 aggressive expansion, but if we start getting everything into position right now, all their forces should be in Gaul when we attack. And then we spread out, work together as these two logistical fronts, me with my units, and then you guys kind of combining to one bigger front. Uh, then we could just start pushing through Illyria to get a bunch of war score. Does that sound like a plan to everybody? I'm down. Yep. Yeah. I know this is probably the worst for Travis. He's like, I wanted to build up my legion. I also want to build up, but hey. This is the time, you know? I don't know when we're going to get a better time than this, because Rome is... They're growing, and... Uh, we barely make up what they have right now, but hopefully Cappadocia and Phrygia end up, they're gonna arrive late, but hopefully they will arrive and become pretty helpful because that's a lot of units. Okay, so that means, yes, we are all about to start heading there, right? To the border with yeah. them in the area? Yeah, I just got a reason. I'm certain about the outcome of this war, but we'll see when we- when With we Cappadocia and Phrygia showing up, like it should take them at 
less time than it would take for Rome to get to us. And I've set up pretty good border defenses. Unless they sail over, but I have a gigantic navy. And this gigantic navy is going to... Um, I'm, I'm going to kind of like blockade uh, that little exit by the heel of the boot. Is what I'm going to do. Um, if any of you have your navies up and want to join me, you can. But I don't think you'll need to. Because again, I have 86 ships. 25 of them are meaty. So... I'll, I'll attach them to you. Uh, I thought you weren't funding yeah. this. Well, I mean, yeah, but they still exist. They do, but they could actually drag down a battle because less money means literally no morale. They lose 80% of their morale when you decrease their pay. Does it decrease yours too? It would increase. It would decrease the morale for the overall battle, yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, yeah, that's... Um, I have... If you look at where you type F, K-O-R-K-Y-R-A, F, and type that in, that's where I'm basing my navy out of right now. If you have an active navy that you want to take part, send it over there to that port. I am going to pick up my mercenaries and get that process started. I'm also thus going to send every single one of you an alliance, assuming we don't already have one. But rest. Uh huh. Uh, the outcome of the war, when we win, we decide together, right? Yes. All four of us. All four of us will decide together. We decide right now a little bit, like early, what idea we like. Do, do we like the idea of releasing as much as possible from Rome, if that's what's convenient? Or are, are you preferring something where land is acquired? Uh, we'll see what the options are. Yeah, we'll see, we have to see how well we do, first and foremost. Okay. Anything else from anyone? Nope. All right, no. great. I'm going to go get right. those mercenaries, just, pick them up. I'm just going to throw this out there real quick. My navy cannot leave the Black Sea, because once it hits Byzantium, it's already out of range. Uh, you got Mastodon. You could use my ports. Oh, Okay. Now, you could just defund your navy and then use that to fund more land troops. That would actually be more helpful. My navy's big enough to solo roams. What we need is land units on the front. That's what we need. Got it. All right. Let um, me get all my legions moving towards the border. Get my navy moving to pick up that merc stack. And that merc stack is not this one. 27k from Egypt. That'll be fun in the budget. We who are about to die, salute you. Tonight, we dine in hell. Tonight, we dine in Rome. That's a 300 quote. Duh. I've never watched that. You should. Ooh, producing metals at Traglios. What is, what is Traglios? There it is. What does it produce right now? It produces olives. Sure. Precious metals. It says 300 Spartans can take on 3,000 Persians, so... Except they can. Around, uh, yeah, so around 2,000 Spartans can take on Rome. It's 300 Spartans plus thousands of other Greeks from different places, and they still lost. Yeah. I, I don't know why that gets idolized so much. It's fucking weird. This place having food problems again? It lost its grain and ports, that's why. So, um, I just got some money from a Rift. Since my levies are just so small, should I actually just use that to upgrade my legion? You you can upgrade your legion if you have the money and manpower to do it. You can't upgrade it once it leaves your territory. So if you want to do that now, do it now. Got gotcha. you. You know what you want? Yeah. What's that? We'll see at the end. Because if it's, if it's territory, you're going to have to conquer the territory. One of us is going to have to conquer it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Unless you're trying to, like, phase me out. Like, hey, you take some of Illyria, and then you give me some of Greece. I can see you doing that. see it, yeah. All right, 27k, Alexandria. Uh, should I take the north of the mountain or the little strand south of the mountain? That is a really good question. Um, hang on. I'm just getting these units boarded. I sent them now to the northern part, but... Fuck is this? Go this way. Um... 
I feel like the northern area is better for you guys. It's it's more open, it's bigger, and it's less likely to suffer from a Roman naval invasion. Uh, I'll take the coast so that I would take the brunt of that. So I anything that is, f sorry. go ahead. Anything that is flat, my legion will do better. Yeah, the the area up north is flatlands, bunch of plains and farmlands. So, um, okay. So you guys are going to gather up north. I don't have any cities up there, unfortunately, so you're going to be want to spread out a little bit initially. Uh, but you guys are going to take up by Malvesia, if you want to press F, M-A-L-V-E-S-I-A, -E Malvesia. That's where you guys can strike out north from. And I'm going to be striking along the coast, which is all fucking hills. And Narfi, how is your income? Uh, minus three now. And how much money do you have? A hundred. Okay, that, yeah, that should be good for now, actually. That should be really good. I see the boss bar, and sorry I don't have my roads finished to make this easier, but it, it's, I built a lot, it's just not enough. <laughs> you think it'll be faster if I just sail around? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> it, it could be. Um, who knows? Be careful of pirates. Yeah, be careful of pirates, but yeah, it would be faster. Make sure to get your guys somewhere where they have enough supply to not attrit endlessly. It would be tough to do, I know, but... I do have at least one supply wagon. They haven't yet started fully occupying any of the barbarian lands, but I think it's safe to say a lot of their troops are probably in that area by now. So, once you guys are here, it should be pretty good. I see you're boarded on your fleet. Yeah, you, you should get there pretty quickly if you just come land somewhere around here. I don't, my closest port is in Corkia, that place I pointed out first, where I'm basing my fleet out of. And there are roads here up to a certain extent. Woo! Research points. I'm and here. What if we do this? We have Max, okay, and money, and our researcher died. Oh no, just get the best guy for the job. It's research, after all. This is going to be interesting. I'm really hoping Cappadocia and Phrygia, like, those are each as big as cultures right now. Not to mention Thrace is as big as Sparta, and that's a subject of Cappadocia. So I'm really hoping these guys really come in handy. They won't be there at first, but they will catch up and hopefully do well. I'm going to need military access. There you go. Where are your troops? There are fat kids sailing around Anatolia. I see. 14k. What are you doing about the mercenaries? Uh, I'm going to hire them once I get over there. They may have to go back to your territory first. So them coming from your territory would also be fine. Okay. Because usually when you hire yeah. mercenaries, they're exiled until they get to your territory. Gotcha. Hey, Raz, if I join your war, can I call in my allies? No uh, unfortunately, I don't think so, but that would be great since you're allies with Egypt. Yeah, I was just saying. That would be great. Uh, sadly, I don't think that's how that works. Um, yeah, so for cultures, for mercenaries, you might need to do a couple of sales if that's really all you can fit on there. Yeah, it seems to be most yep. of it. You might need to do a couple sails back and forth to get everything over there, but I say once the brunt of our forces are here, we immediately start. You could just ship mercs over after. Because the Romans are pushing into the barbarian lands now, so they are there. And we can theoretically just start overwhelming them like crazy. Yeah.